God and profitable for teaching. We need to teach the Bible. No one needs our wisdom. No one even needs our experiences. No one needs to hear about our life stories. God needs a group of men who stand before other men. And when they open up their mouth, they have one purpose to proclaim what God has said and to make it known, to explain it. It's good for teaching, but it's also good for reproof and for correction. Any minister who does not clearly rebuke people and correct them is a coward and is loveless. He loves himself more than he loves the people. He wants people to like him. And that's his goal. But we must teach the truth. We must also tell people they are wrong. And then we must tell people what they must do to be right. That is our task. And that is why, in many cases, the world hates us. Do you know why Europe hates Christianity, true Christianity? For the same reason the United States hates true Christianity. Because we're the only ones telling it it's wrong. And that's the greatest crime you can commit today. Christians, ministers of Christ that are true, are standing up and telling the world, you are wrong. And they hate us. Because when they're all together, their conscience is not afflicted. And then we show up and tell them they're wrong. And the Holy Spirit convicts their hearts and they hate it. That's why the two witnesses in the book of Revelation. When they die, the world is happy because finally the word of God is silenced and no one is afflicting the conscience of the world anymore. There's peace, peace, because the witnesses of Christ have gone away. Now we can live in our sin and live in our rebellion and we don't have to have any affliction of heart because there's no voice of God on the planet. What's sad is that many people can go into an evangelical church and experience the same. The minister may even teach good theology, but he never tells people they're wrong. He never corrects them. 